Hello, welcome back to my Morrowind playthrough, where today we're going to be doing some more Fighters Guild quests. So, you are here for orders or advancement, journey, advancement journeyman, or was there something else you wanted? Orders, you have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Four Telvani agents responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines, their names are... Alinu Aralan, Sathasa Narothran, Fothina Herothran, and Alv Alvaleg. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera mine. When the four agents are dead, report back to me. Take care, it's likely that one of them is on lookout outside the mines. That's Alvaleg. Uh, the quickest way to Caldera is probably to have the, gu the guild guide at the Mages Guild transport you, but it is your choice. And I think today we'll walk, just to uh, pad out the episode a little bit. There is some fighting to be done along the way. I can hopefully get in some sneak attacks and up my sneak skill. So we're just going to follow the road north. There's normally like Nick's hands and Alits and rats along the way, so... I'll hopefully get my marksman skill up a bit. there once we get to Caldera it's just over the hills there's a little shortcut you don't need to follow the road and I can get quick, take out Alvareg in an archery duel and then when I pop in I'll try and get a sneak attack on the people within unlikely one of them is a healer though oh got Kwama it's a uh, sneak Didn't get a uh, sneak attack off that. It, it, it normally says on the, the little panel at the bottom. If I uh, little pop up here says critical hit. So it was a Kwama instead of the usual Nyx hand that I'm used to. It's probably because this is a non-combat character. than an Alit. It's normally an Alit. But, oh well. I'm, I'm not going to pick a fight with a bull netch. They do silly amounts of uh, poison damage. Just not worth the hassle. Oh, there. Is that an Alit? No, that's Kaguti, isn't it? No, that's an outlet. Missed. Dead. Oh, that was nice and easy. Ah, uh, no loot. Never mind. So, I can't remember if I've looted Caldera in the past. And I do need some money. I've only got about... I've got about 2,000 gold left. So let's have a look around Caldera and see if there's anything we can loot. Yes. Take all of that, take all of that, take all of that. Just checking here. Yep. I'm just going to take absolutely everything. I'm not going to take all of that because I don't have the weight. 20, wait 15, wait 20, wait 10. So that's probably the most efficient way. And we're going to go and sell this to a very special merchant. Well, the armour at least. And the weapons. You can probably hear him off in the background. Here we go. So, Creeper here. Creeping. We'll buy everything at value. 
So this is a very efficient way to make your money back. I'm not going to barter with him. It's not very much point. And while I'm here, I'm going to steal some stuff from the Orcs and sell it to Creeper. Bosmer. So I'll read these books. I don't think there's any of these ones offer any skills. No. But in here, we have some Orcish armor. Which, as you can see, is worth rather a lot. Thief. Yes, I know, but you're not going to report me to the authorities because you're an orc. There are many creatures beyond the cities. Hello, Caldera. I'm here all week. So, we'll uh, offer that, and then we'll wait 24 hours for him to get his gold back. Help me out, I need the money. I can give him a couple of orcish pauldrons. So, now up to 9,000 gold. Doing quite well out of the transactions so far. And we'll quickly pop to the pawn shop. And buy some big titty goth girlfriend. Pictures? Oh, he doesn't have any. I'm disappointed. But he'll buy all the crap we loosed out of the chest that we don't want. 18 gold isn't worth bartering up. Then we'll go and get the rest of the uh, steel armor. If you're running a uh, heavy armor character and you don't want to do the whole Balmora thing, oh, Mystery of Talara. Take that. I say, if you're running a heavy armoured character and you don't want to do the whole looting Pelgaliad and Fort Moon Moth thing, you can come and loot some heavy armour from there. And the Orcish medium armour is really good. It's not the best medium armour in the game. Take that. That's my. Uh, neighbour coming home. Book in the fire. Speechcraft! So, you can come here, get yourself a decent suit of steel armour. There's more up here. In the, uh, the Governor's Palace. Along with some other supplies. Kind of like you How get at uh, Fort Palgaliad. Only this time it's right at the top. At the very, very, very top. In these boxes. So we've got another full suit. Well, not quite a full suit, but we've got a decent chunk of a suit of steel armour. Got the rat meat. The other alchemical ingredients. Torches. Arrows. Grab the, uh, actually we'll take all of that. Okay, and we've got, let's see, 27, so 15 and 10. Then we'll come back here and grab the rest. There. Go all the way down the stairs. going to make for a, a fairly well padded out episode we get ourselves some more money let's head over to the pawnbroker first okay so bone meal wrap meat red lichen stone petal flowers willow anther mystery of oh he doesn't like that torches plate all the rest of the tr trash 33? Hmm, maybe? No, he doesn't want to. You also go to the Major's Guild. There's a whole host of alchemical ingredients there. And we can also go to the Armourer here.
to sell our uh, the metal armor we've picked up. So you can have some iron arrows, an iron halberd, and some steel armor, and a cruel flame blade. We'll barter you up a couple of points, a couple more gold. Just slowly working on our mercantile school. Let's go back and grab the rest of the armor. And then we'll grab, loot these two ta ta gate towers there. They'll have more armor, more weaponry, and more alchemical ingredients. So, all the way back up the stairs. That should get us close to about 10,000 dish gold, eventually. By the time we've loosed everything, might even take us slightly over, which would be handy. And then there's a fair chunk of loot we can get off of the Go ahead. Talvani agent. They're not particularly wearing anything great. It's some iron armour, some netch leather armour, some iron weapons, nothing amazing. But they do have a whole host of potions and stuff we can take. You, Barta, buy the rest of this armor for me. Thank you. Go and uh, do you have anything for sale that I might want? Ooh. They do have steel arrows. We'll leave that for now. We'll grab them on the way back through. Once we've completed the quest, because we're going to use up some arrows anyway. Let's go loot the uh, the two gatehouses. Oh, already over encumbered. Well, let's see what else we can loot, and then we'll put some stuff. 50, so... Oh, not even going to fit. That's not going to fit. Okay. Hmm. That's not going to fit either. Still over by two points. Let's... Not use up the hammer. Nothing's going to fit in there, right, okay. So let's put the scuttle, primer egg, crab meat and salt rice in there. Should do for now. Speak freely, friend. We're going to keep selling the armor because that way we can increase our mercantile score. None of this is particularly expensive stuff. We're not going to make mass massive amounts of extra money selling it to Creeper. So, back to work on our skills. Okay. Oh, already over 10,000, so... We'll bark them up by one gold. Let's head back and grab the rest. And the stuff in the other tower. Do need to pop in here. Speak to this nice young lady. Blades trainers. Uh, welcome, novice Gernarek. Serain Yorain is my name. Mage is my trade. I'd be happy to share a little advice or more in law with a fellow blade. Or maybe you'd like to catch up on the latest streamers. Of course we can train you. You pay, of course, but much less than you would outside the blades. And may I suggest that you find someone to reach to teach you the Detect Enchantment spell. Whenever you're exploring, it's good to know what enchanted items, uh, where enchanted items are. Sometimes that, that, sometimes that's where the dangerous enemies are, holding the enchanted items. And sometimes that, that shows hi items hidden from view in deep pools or on high ledges. See Laos Uvain at the Nightblade at the Caldera Governor's Hall. Okay. So that's that. How fare thee, friend? No skills. 
and let's unlock her door. So, use a journeyman's lockpick. There we go. And we've got a bed we can use along with an apprentice mortar and pestle. If we want to do some alchemy, an apprentice journeyman decalcinator. Although there are better versions of this in the. Uh, Um, in the Mages Guild that we can go and loot in a bit. I need to go back to the guard towers. My sensitivity seems a little bit off. I'm thinking it might have to do dark. Hours do this mouse acceleration. So, no, not that one. Let's take that and take all of that. Okay, athletics has increased. To take that, we'll... Yeah, we'll take that because it's just one. We'll take the paper. Okay, that's everything in there. Let's sell this quickly and we can head on to the Caldera mine. Actually. You have a book I can read. Mystery of Talara. Acrobatic skills increased. Thank you. you have anything I can read? Oh, that looks like a Lessons of Yvette. Yes, no, annotated a new ad. Note there, just some bottles, books. This is Talara. And none of them offer any skills. Let's see what he's got upstairs. Uh, nothing really worthwhile. No locks we can pick either. Yeah. Not worth it. Ooh, gold. Can't see me from here. We will take the gold. Always take gold. Doesn't weigh you down. And it all spends. Okay, so, pawnbroker to get rid of the food and our chemical ingredients we've picked up. Still won't buy that, won't buy the paper either. Go. I need to find someone who will buy my book. Trader. Traders buy everything. Ah, hello. Uh, did you want something? Yes, but you don't have anything I want. Oh, Dwarven Warhammer of Wounds. <laughs> I, I can't use it. It's far too expensive, but let's see. Devil Cephalopod Helm. Uh, armor rating 13, light armor, spell absorption, and band curus. Uh, it's not really worth it. Not for me. Okay, sell all of that. Might as well sell the Petty Soul Gem. Okay, let's see what else they've got. So, Amulet of Mighty Blows, Amulet of Opening, but we've got a decent security score in lockpicks, Amulet of Recall. Now, I believe I already have, yep, Mark and Recall as spells, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Now, Frost Mirror Robe, Ring of Aversion, useful to help us in sneaking situations. How much does it cost, 63? That might be worthwhile. And we've only got one ring slot used at the moment. Ring of Iron Hand, Damage Fatigue, uh, Ring of Lightning Bolt, always useful. Veloth's Robes. No, I'm Batman. Okay, let's have a look at weaponry. We have some glass arrows. I will pick up some glass arrows. That's some nice extra damage. That's short blades, we're not interested. Spear, axe, hammer. Uh, steel longbow, not really worth it. Look, it's medium armor, medium armor, medium armor, heavy, heavy. It's all heavy and medium. Potions, do you have? Potion of night eye could be useful, but it's not really much point. 
He doesn't want to let go of those glass arrows. Oh well. So we will, or I will equip the glass arrows. Cause that's going to give us a, a, again a bit more of a damage buff. Yeah. So we've now gone from doing two to thirty-four to doing two to thirty-six damage. Again, not a massive increase, but an increase nonetheless. It is hidden away. Yes. And I'm listening. Obviously, we'll get some of those back. Nick's hand. Nick's hand. Nick's hand. Nick's hand. Two Nick's hands. Can I get a sneak attack off? Yes. Is there another one, or did I just see rocks moving? Ah, yes. Gooty. Missed. And Okay, well, we're one shotting stuff now. Good to can get diseased from that. Grab our arrow back. I'm not going to pick a fight with the cliff racer just yet. Yeah, he's too far away. Okay. So, let's head on to the Caldera mine. Fin having finished with that little distraction. Another Nitch, Nick's hand. Ah, he's seen me. Dead Nick's hand. Probably should have saved the uh, the glass arrows for fight coming up. Against Alveg. Yes. So no successful sneak attacks yet, but where the heck are you running off to? Take. Go pick a fight with Alveg. If I can sneak round here. Where's he hiding? There you are. That was easier than normal. Grab his Dragon Skull Tower Shield. That will grab all of this. Alright, I know that's going to leave us over encumbered, but I've got a little trick. So we'll rest here first and just get our uh, HP back. We'll see if we can get a sneak attack off on the others. I'm not expecting anything, but... So with the one with 
their armor first because they're the healer. Yep, dead. And they didn't detect me either. Now they've detected me. your stuff and we're going to dump everything that isn't mine actually we'll keep the stuff that can be repaired and move the clothes across there eh? Shard sword. Not as good as what we've got. We'll keep the arrows. Everything else over onto the dead body. So at the end, I can just come along, click take all. wander off. So we've got Scroll of Summon Skeleton. Glad they didn't get that off. So we'll take all of this. I'm going to keep the Scroll of Scum Summon Skeleton. Scummon. <laughs> Summon Skeleton. Because that'll actually be useful in later fights to give me a little extra damage. By having a minion by my side. So let's close that. Now we've got some more looting to be done. So let's grab the Gold, potion, soul gem. Okay, so we've got some Nazi, some Sajama, some gold, gold, restore personality, petty soul gem, some gold. Gold and restore intelligence. There are diseases out there that will reduce your intelligence, so you won't be able to cast cure disease. Or any spells for that matter. If you're out of cure disease potions, you're going to want to be able to get rid of the disease so you can get your stats back. So you can use your spells. Okay. Gold, Maxi, Masti. I don't know how you're supposed to actually pronounce it. Right, so let's look at you. Grab all the weaponry and armor first. Probably not worth getting taking the oh extravagant shoes we'll take. Common pants, common pants, iron armor. The rest of it's all common. Common, common, common. So we'll just finish grabbing the armor. Right, so as you can see, we are now horrendously over encumbered. But I have um silly intervention, so back to Barmora. I said back to Balmora. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heaviest iron stuff and just dump that on the ground here. Uh, maybe some of the weaponry as well. And we'll take the medium armour off. Still over encumbered. Hmm, let's see, let's see. What's 
Iron shard sword. There we go. No longer over encumbered. So we'll head to the alchemist and sell all the alchemical ingredients we've got. Just have to make sure that you never sell her a diamond. She'll know that you've stolen one. She'll claim it's hers even if it isn't. Right. So. Let's see. Fortify intelligence. Fortify health. They're cheap anyway. So we'll just get rid of them. Exclusive restore personality. We'll get rid of them. Let's see. Cure blight disease. Cure common disease. Restore fatigue. Restore health. Restore intelligence. Shame. Fortify speed. We're worried about. Restore fatigue. Restore health. And Sujama. Or defend me. Squib jelly. A uh, Kwame cuttle, rather. And rat meat. There we go. Have my attention. I'll come down to this armourer. Sell the other stuff. Yes, sir. Do you want so don't want a longbow i don't want iron arrows i don't want a wooden staff or any of this next level stuff i've got the ex expensive shoes never mind we'll sell that to someone else so we can get an extra gold out of him yeah and we'll go back and get the rest of it we should have freed up enough space to carry So, it's a chain curious. Yep, I think that's everything. I don't have a potion of night eye. And if not, I can come back during daylight and just pick it up then. And we'll sell this to the other armourer just to make sure we don't make him too broke. You will buy some stuff off me. There we go. Uh, and that. Fine for arrows at the moment, although I may head back to Caldera and pick up some more steel arrows later. We'll have an extra gold off of him. I'll head over to the kitty. Sell the kitty the expensive shoes. So, let's quickly go and turn in the quest. Uh, do you have any more information on the other army agents? I need to know. You got all four? Good. That'll make some people at Caldera Mining Company very happy. Here's 400 septims. The Caldera Mining Company pays well. And when you're ready for more orders, let me know. Advancement. But aren't noteworthy, but some question for your depth of devotion. Perform more duties for the fighter guild and you will earn your place. So Ah, uh, you bring good fortune with you. Welcome. Thank you for watching. You know how YouTube works.